Elizabeth Warren is introducing a new bill today, the Accountable Capitalism Act. It would require corporations with at least a billion dollars in annual revenue to answer to stakeholders and therefore not just to shareholders. By stakeholders, she's talking about, for example, employees. It would require employees to have more say in company policy. Joining me right now is the associate publisher of Barron's.com, Jack Otter, and the president of Kulpbaum Capital Management, Gary Kulpbaum. You guys have differing op uh, opinions, I believe, on this. Gary, uh, you don't like this idea one bit. Tell us why. Well, I think we should have the Accountable Government Act, not the uh, Accountable Corporation <laughs> Act. Look, let, let's go to the scorecard here. Uh, Elizabeth Warren's government has $21 trillion of debt, trillion-dollar deficits. Next year, the taxpayers on the hook, the first $500 billion is going towards interest because of their debt. And now let's go to corporations, have created trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars of wealth, millions and millions and millions and millions of jobs. Philanthropy, she says corporations are self-serving, giving away billions, hundreds of billions of dollars for, to philanthropic organizations as well as time, created medical breakthroughs, technological breakthroughs, have done everything the right. Are there some, ba has been are there some bad ones? Sure, but my goodness gracious, leave mm. good alone and start working on yourself. Gary Kolbaum's bill says, hey, government, how about some term limits? How about some balanced budget amendments? How about doing something right for the taxpayer right. for change and leaving corporations I'm alone? I'm drawing something right now. I think my team in the control room knows what it is. It's not very good. I think I need a better Sharpie or something. You probably can't even see it, but it's an hourglass. This is our economy right now with the middle class increasingly getting squeezed. And this is the reason why people like Elizabeth Warren are seeing some success, Bernie Sanders. It's in part the reason why Donald Trump was elected, because this middle class here, these people that are getting squeezed, they make up the bulk of our population, and yet... They are struggling the most. So you got a few on top and a whole lot. Forgive me. You got a lot on top. You got a whole lot on the bottom. And you got the middle class, which is so critical to our economic survival, Jack Otter, getting so squeezed. But how do you change that? I mean, you know, I, I'm not going to dismiss her idea entirely, but I don't like the idea of the government being the one to enforce it. Right. So I think I agree 100 percent with Gary that the government is not do. the one to. Uh, and Gary, by the way, I like your uh, email on technical analysis. I really like that. And I agree with your points on deficits. I will Thank say you. that what Elizabeth Warren has done is she has identified a very real problem and proposed the wrong cure. So the okay. problem is that this 100% this focus on shareholders in some cases had led companies astray. Take, go back to Henry Ford. People were very mm -hmm. angry when he said he should pay his workers enough to buy the products they're mm -hmm. making. That was very reasonable. In the old days on Wall Street, the partnerships were such that if the firm went down, all those guys went down, too. They lost all they their money. skin in the game. Now mm -hmm. they have no skin in the game. I mean, well, Dick Fold is, is a very wealthy okay, man no, right no, no, now. No, 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 no. But... I would say, I mean, what was, it was a five-year vest at Lehman Brothers. And so they had a higher vest time than any of the other banks on Wall Street. That but meant no clawback. People, yeah, but you, so, so how's that going to work? You know, if I sell you a suit and you like it and you wear it and then you say, oh, really, it's not as good as I thought, and you come back to me and you say, Trish, I want my money back, then I lose my commission? I mean, how, I mean if, you, if you actually do the job and it works for a while... I, I, don't, I don't get the clawback thing, Jack. I really don't, because people are out there doing their jobs. But if you're paying them in money, then right, you're not going to take it back. But if you're paying them in stock, what you're doing is you're incentivizing this very short-termism, mm -hmm. where you worry about the next quarter and not the next 10 years. Yeah, which is part of our problem overall. I mean, Gary, Absolutely. I keep saying this in terms of you know, allowing our intellectual property to be stolen by the likes of China, in part because a lot of these CEOs don't really care about the given quarter, the given year, uh, or or forgive me, they don't care about the 10-year right. uh, prospect. They care too much about the given quarter and the given year. And I just don't like the idea of government being the one that's going to interfere. Though. Is, there, is there another solution, Gary? Well, Trish, when you use the word government, that's just people. And you have people like Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, that have lived off the taxpayer all their life, never created a dime of wealth or a job, yet they want to dictate policy to these companies. And look... 
there's always going to be flaws in the system. But I sit here in Orlando, Florida, and I do a lot with philanthropy, and I know the companies like Tupperware and Disney and National Retail Properties. These people take care of their employees. They work their tails off. They do great for the community. And I think there's a heck of a lot going on. And Elizabeth Warren, the only thing she has to sell is your lot in life is down here because mm -hmm. everybody else is up here. And it's just not true. This country and capitalism enables anybody to go here, go from here to up here with hard work, sweat, and toil. And I'm tired of this sell job and this con job on people. But unfortunately, it works because they keep selling it because others listen. All right, he's fired up. What do you say? Let me give you one example. Uh, Harley Davidson announced it would take some manufacturing overseas. Donald Trump was very angry about that. He did not mince words. Well, they were acting in the best interest of shareholders. Because of the tariffs, it was much more expensive, so they moved it overseas so they could make the motorcycle over there and sell it to Europeans. So, you know, you can't have it both ways. If you think that the shareholder is the only thing that matters, then it's not always going to work out well yeah, for no, the I middle class. Yeah, I think you make an interesting, a very interesting point. Uh, and there's got to be a, a happy medium. We're going to all, all put our thinking caps on and uh, try and come up it's with a not better... Easy to solve. I, it's not But you know what? We should be able to come up with something better than Elizabeth you, Warren Elizabeth has. <laughs> does not have the answer. She's not the one with the answer. I can promise you that. Jack and Gary, good to see you guys. Thank you so much.